Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And with the latest release of Ubuntu 2104, it is time to change our theme. So let's get started. Now, if you guys have been a long time viewer of this channel, you probably know I'm currently using a pretty light theme similar to a Mac style. It's white, it's bright, everything like that. But in this 2104 version update, I decided to go completely opposite and go for a dark theme. Now, uh, I think a couple of months ago, I released a video on uh, VS Code, where I actually changed the VS Code theme to uh, Dracula theme, which is something I started to like. Well, I'm gonna be changing this entire desktop over to Dracula theme. And it's actually really, really easy. You mainly have to do is just follow instructions from one website. So let's get started. Here we have a brand new install of Ubuntu 2104 on our Odyssey x86. Uh, this computer is a physical machine that I usually use to test operating systems. So to jump into it first, I, we do have to install a couple of software so we can actually change some packages around and install some GNOME extensions. So first thing I wanna do is sudo app update just to make sure I have the latest repositories because this is, like I said, really fresh install. I just finished installing this like 20 minutes ago. And sudo app upgrade. I technically could do that in one line. I know you guys say you could do it in one line. I know, but I just tend to do it two lines. So I can see how many packages are being updated. So I have a decision if I want to update the thousands of packages or not. In our case, we only have 14 packages. Also, if you hear background noise, that's because I'm in the middle of like a 40 hour print and you're gonna hear the 3D printer going off. Uh, that's something for our next week's video, so tune in for that. It's, it's pretty special. Now that we're done uh, installing all the updates, I'm gonna do sudo apt install gnome tweaks with the S, no, tweak tools. And also I am gonna install something called Chrome extensions. sudo apt install chrome gnome shell. There you go, that's what it is. All right, that's installed. Now we could pop over and start downloading the packages we need. Okay, so we got GNOME extensions. Let's pop over to this website. Click here to install the browser extension. Continue, add, okay. And I'm gonna hit Control R to refresh the website so that purple bar goes away. Okay, so now the first thing we wanna install is uh, user themes. That way it'll allow us to change the actual uh, title bar theme and what do you call it? That dash to panel theme. Uh, next thing we want to do is I always install caffeine since it's always there. It keeps my screen from sleeping. And a dash to panel. You could use dash to dock if you guys want. Uh, I'm more into dash to panel because I like the panel setting on the bottom. So I'm going to install that as well. Just to get my settings in orders. Uh, also arc menu the new one not the unmaintained version but the new arc menu i actually really like it with the new settings and the new theming um, i do really like the new arc menu so we're going to pop there and then we could adjust the settings a little bit later but what i wanted to show you mainly is this website called dracula theme.com i believe yeah it is dracula theme.com this website actually has everything you need to theme anything to dracula it's really cool. So if you're looking for, say, Firefox, okay? Firefox, there's 5,000 views. You click on that. It'll actually give you instructions on how to change it. All you have to do is really install the Firefox add-on. But you could do it manually. It'll, you know, have everything you need to change the theme. So in GNOME, what we're looking for is GTK. So GTK, we have, that's how it's going to basically look like when it's at the end. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is download uh, this zip. So I'm going to save this and it says GTK master. Okay. And open that up. Extract here. And this is actually the Dracula theme itself. So I'm going to rename this file to Dracula theme. Get rid of this file. If you keep scrolling down a little bit, they actually have icons as well. So you wanna download the icons, okay. And this one, I am gonna extract here and it makes a Dracula folder. And this one has all the app icons and everything. Now I'm gonna open up a new terminal and I'm gonna do sudo natalis. And now I have a sudo version of my uh, file manager 
which I can go to other locations, computer, user, share. And the first thing you want to do, since I'm scrolling down, I'm going to do icons first. So we'll just scroll down all the way to the eye icons. And now we could just paste the Drakler icon theme there. So I'm going to copy and paste that folder here. I want to back out one back to share and then go to themes. So as I'm scrolling down, I'm just going to look for themes. And right here, I will take the Dracula theme, copy this, and paste this in here. And now we should have it system wide where anybody can change it to this dark theme. And the first thing I'm going to do is head over to tweaks. So gnome tweaks, appearance, and you see how it's Yaru. Switch it over to Dracula theme. Now the menu has the purple, nice. Icons, also do um, Dracula theme. So that's gonna switch over to all the purple stuff right here, nice. And then the applications will also be Dracula theme. And there we have the purple, the really nice Dracula theme. Now it matches up, this looks really, really good. But we're not done here because obviously this is only just a gnome shell. Uh, there's also Firefox, like I said, we could do. So let's pop over to Firefox. In here, we'll just pop into grabbing this Firefox add-on. Install theme. Add. And there we have it. The menu bars, the buttons. Awesome. So next, we're going to also look for Terminal. So they have GNOME Terminal. And it'll look like this compared to what we're staring at over here. But you see how it's like, it's not bad because it took the theme color of what it's supposed to be, but this could be a lot better. It could look something similar to this. So what we're gonna do is to install, we need this software, which I think it's already pre-installed on uh, GNOME. Yeah, it is. And then next, you just wanna get this part. And I don't think we have git installed, so let's do that as well. Sudo app install git. Yeah, I thought so. The stock install of Ubuntu doesn't have Git, so we're doing that now. So what I could do is uh, CD downloads. I'm going to change the directed download. Paste what I just have. I get cloned the GNOME terminal. CD GNOME terminal. And in here, install. Whoop. Dot SH. Please select the color theme, Dracula. There's no profiles. Yes to continue. We're going to overwrite the default pro profile. Yes. Oh yeah, two. And I believe if we were to restart the... It should have it. There you go. The purple. Compared to the blue that you see over here. So if I was to LS this, this is still blue and everything. And if I was to change into downloads, LS, you see everything purple instead. So it kind of works better with the theme. And I like to add a little bit of uh, transparency to it. So I will go back to the default theme, colors, use... Uh, transparent background and kind of just give it a little hint of a transparency and that is it there's also a font that you can use to make it look like this I don't mind the stock font that's why I'm just gonna keep it as a stock font but now we have that that blends in as well next up we need to do is uh, wallpaper actually so I believe Dracula has a wallpaper so let's look that up wallpaper and their wallpaper is this, which does really match with the color. So I might just stick with this for now. And I am going to use the base one. Why can't I right click this? Did I break something here? Click. You know what? I'm just going to get it. I'm going to change my folder to pictures. W get. Paste that link. 13 megabytes. Base picture. Open up my file. Pictures. Base. And I am gonna set this as wallpaper. And let's see how that looks. Oh man, that is looking good. That is definitely looking good. That is basically it. I just followed the instructions based on their website. If you have other software that you wanna modify, which is in their list, you could be able to do that. So if I was to say I wanted to do something with Adam, uh, you click on that, it'll give you the how to do it, the how to and how you could install that theme on there. Uh, Eclipse, see these are all the software. Facebook, DuckDuckGo, Adobe, Blender. 
Anyway, this is a really good website. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with this theme a little. I do like the dark theme and everything that matches up with the purple and everything. So yeah, that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me theming 2104. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.